Don't use it where it's like it's like No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to start bleep it right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm really late right now. Yeah, yeah just sorry. don't start until we start reading. Thank you for joining. Wait. Thank you for joining us this Friday morning. I'm Intavis Dorsey. And I'm Katie Myers. Welcome to EMC News 2. Biking can be fun and biking can be exciting. And in some cases, biking can be deadly even when not riding. MTSU student Timothy Martin was struck by a car driven by another MTSU student by the name of Benjamin Conley while walking across the road with his bike in tow. The accident occurred on Rutherford Boulevard late Tuesday evening around 8 p.m. There are no mentions of any charges being filed against Conley. MTSU is providing on-campus counselling for students that knew Martin or were affected by his passing. Many are mourning today after a Murfreesboro bicycle accident turns fatal. Timothy Martin was walking his bike across Rutherford Boulevard Tuesday evening when he was struck by a car. Martin was taken to Middle Tennessee Medical Center where he was later pronounced dead. The accident is still under investigation, but the driver of the vehicle is not expected to face charges. Martin was a sophomore at Middle Tennessee State University, and school officials have said counselors are available for those close to the victim. Test, test, testing one, two, three. The audience is waiting for you. Time to go in the air. Drive time producer at 88.3 WMTS's Logan Probst informed of the general interest meeting to be an intern at WMTS. WMTS is one of few campus-run radio stations in Tennessee, and they're also broadcast online. 88.3 provides Middle Tennessee State University DJs with hands-on experience with equipment used in bigger radio markets. If you've ever wanted to try your hand at DJing, come out to the general interest meeting on Monday in room 103 and room 150 in the Mass Comm on Tuesday. If you're ready, the mic is waiting for you. Getting involved outside of the classroom is one of the most important things any college student can do. Middle Tennessee State University's Mass Communication Department offers many opportunities for students to do just that. WMTS 88.3 FM is MTSU's fully run radio station. For the first time in over a year, the station is now streaming worldwide on the internet. WMTS has a wide variety of shows and topics for students to be a part of. Anyone interested is encouraged to come to the first of two meetings in Mass Communication Room 103 at 9 p.m. on Monday. Students at Middle Tennessee State University didn't have to worry about a thing on Bob Marley's birthday on Wednesday. Bob Marley's voice filled the student union by way of a sound system in a tribute spearheaded by Janelle Hensley of the Intercultural and Diversity Office. Hensley said she grew up on Marley's music, and his music is as relevant now as it was when she first heard it, so she felt this tribute was vital. Today's playlist consisted of Three Little Birds, I Shot the Sheriff, No Woman No Cry, and several others by the late artist. Marley died years ago, but his music is touching many now more than ever. The Lady Raiders came out firing on all cylinders Wednesday night as they sent Arkansas State packing. Led by Iceland Eli, Courtney Jones, and Ebony Rowe, the Ladies in Blue opened with a 12-4 run and never looked back. The trio combined for 73 of MTSU's 93 points. Jones set a new career high with 32 points, while Rowe sco scored in double digits for the 31st consecutive game. With this victory, the Blue Raiders now have the fourth longest win streak in the NCAA with 12 wins. The final score was a tremendous 93-49. to The ladies will be back in action Sunday at 2 p.m. in the Murphy Center against Troy. Thank you for joining us this Friday morning. For EMC News 2, I'm Antavius Dorsey. And I'm Katie Myers. Stay classy, Murfreesboro.